It'll be the third Game 7 of the postseason. The previous two games featured tonight's teams. The Cavs beat the Pacers. The Celtics beat the Bucks. Both the first round with wins coming at home. In NBA history, the home team has won 80% of Game 7s, Chauncey. It, the graphic about the other sports, why in the NBA is it so much yeah, that, that, bigger? That is such an interesting stat because I, I just don't get it. I don't know why it's, it's so different in the NBA. Mm. I mean, I, I've, I've played in five Game 7s, and to be honest with you, the one I remember the most is the one I lost. I went 4-1. and one. I, I lost the one in – I don't even want to look at her. The Spurs. <laughs> What's that? What? I, I, don't I, want to but I didn't hear. Oh, I didn't yeah. hear you though. I lost what? one to them. I know. Robert Ory <laughs> throws it in. Oh, come My on, man, don't do it. Oh, don't, oh, really? Don't Has do it. Has a little it. last for a hot don't second. Do don't do it. Sorry. I was doing good. You know, I okay. thought I was getting the ring. You know what? You had a lot so, of high moments in your life. It's okay. Just one low. Just okay. That's. <laughs> but anyway. I mean, game seven is, is like nothing else. And, and I think one of my greatest strengths, to be honest with you, is, is having the ability to, to not put pressure on myself because that psychs guys out. It can psych you out. Like, that's the reason why I feel like I was such a good late game performer as well because that shot that I was shooting in the fourth quarter for game time is the same shot that I was shooting in the first quarter. I didn't pump myself up for it. I didn't psych myself out for it. And that was the same thing with game seven. They say, what do you think about game seven? I think it's, it's just a regular basketball game. It counts more. Y'all putting a lot more pressure on me, but I'm not going to do that. And because of that, I was a pretty good performer in game sevens as well. You're a great performer. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Thank you, buddy. I think it's more distinguished in the NBA because even with the rules changes, the physical intimidation does not exist. Like, you mm. saw Steph Curry with shimmy, and then CP3 will make a shot and shimmy back. But it'd be a lot different if he would shimmy and then you can knock him to the floor. Wow. Well, yeah, that would, that's that would be different. That's physical intimidation. The other sport that was up there is hockey. And therefore, if I can punch you when we come out of the penalty box, whatever your game plan was, it changes. And in baseball, the other sport that was up there, if you have two ace pitchers, I think it was the Diamondbacks where they had Schilling and Randy Johnson. Okay? They just mowed through the MLB and won the World Series. So I think in those two sports, it's a lot more distinct. I mean, in the NBA, what it's a lot more What if they feed off of it differently because the crowd is just really on top of you at a basketball game versus the uh, baseball spread out, hockey's got the glass. I don't know. I'm trying to come up with something because it is an so interesting weird. number difference. So and, and here's the other thing. You can literally hear your fans Everything. in basketball and touch them, unlike football. Well, you shouldn't do that, but yes. Uh